timbers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, the Pixel Pirate, bringing you first impressions on the latest indie games. Today, we are taking a look at a game called Beast Boxing Turbo. Beast Boxing Turbo is developed by Good Hustle Studios, and you can currently pick it up on Desura for only five bucks. Not bad. So, what is uh, Beast Boxing Turbo? Well, it is a boxing game, as you might have guessed. <laughs> so, let's get started. We're going into our first fight here. We're going to fight Pigman here. Now, apparently we're a human, but we're a human in disguise. Let's uh, just skip these things. Skip. Okay, here we are. Oh, he just headbutted me. That's not very nice. Oh, good lord. Yes, that's how hard this game is. You die very easily. And it's very difficult to hurt your opponent. Now, you'll see I have a power bar. That is how much power I do. If I just endlessly punch the guy... Oh, what the hell? Jeez. I should have moved around a bit, but never mind. <laughs> okay. So he uh, actually beat the crap out of me. And that is not good. Okay, so... <laughs> because I'm so crap... It will actually change to easier mode for me, so it's not as brutally hard. More enemy cues before attack. Game might feel shorter uh, and better for casual players. So we're going to do that. No, uh, currently normal, currently easier. Right. Okay. Continue. Fight again. Right. <laughs> I'm really awful at this game. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, just continue on here. Skip, skip. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, now I've run out of power, so I have to be careful. And uh, wait for that to actually recharge. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller currently for the game. I'm gonna wait for my power to actually uh, come back here and punch the crap out of him a bit more. Yeah, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller and whilst you can change the controls I think, uh, it is, and, and also that the controls are somewhat intuitive. The major complaint I have is that when you need to block you have to press down. You should be pressing a button, I think. Ah, damn it. Okay. Damn it! That's alright, I'm winning quite easily here. Just waiting for my power to actually come back. Here it goes. And... Whack, 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 Yeah. Basically, if you got no power, you're not doing any damage at all because he, he just gets it back too easily. So, you can see, easy mode is quite easy. And you are down for the count, buddy. Alright, so I've just got to beat him one more time. <laughs> Don't think you like that. Now, there is a few different moves you can do. Like that. Oh, dear. Oh. Uh, you can also do an uppercut, which is that. Oh, no, no, I just missed. Ah, oh, damn it. Ow! Just trying to get an uppercut in here. It's basically up and uh, punch, and that was it there. So. Just gonna go nuts here. Uh, it seems that your power doesn't go down when your gloves are on fire. Although, I'd probably be slightly more concerned that my gloves are on fire. It's uh, probably not a good thing. Oh dear. Oh. Damn it. 
I keep uh, allowing my power to go down too low. And I have to wait for it to actually recharge. Alright. Yeah, so as I was saying, the controls, yeah, you have to press down to block. Unfortunately, you also need to go from side to side. Not only that, but it uses the, the stick to control. So... Oh, KO for a, uh, with a upper cast there. Yeah, so it uses a stick, it doesn't use the D-pad, unfortunately. So it's easy to accidentally block when in fact you're just trying to go left. Alright, so we punch the crap out of that guy. Let's skip all that. And guard meters, uh... Do you? No, don't want to do that. I want to go to upgrades. Okay, so I've got $178. I can spend stuff. Let's see here. Uh, we can buy gear. Um, arm wraps. So plus two defense there. Plus three defense. Minus two speed for that one. Plus three. Ooh, gee. They're getting a bit expensive there. Uh, but uh, well, just to give you an idea. So you got sets as well. That's pretty cool. And uh, then you got uh, totem shoulders, armbands, chest pants and gloves okay so uh let's, what's this one uh 80 bucks that gives you plus one defense okay yeah so basically uh oh 10 percent extra health i might buy that yes please uh what else have we got that's about it you can also compare things which is pretty nifty what can i compare oh, i see yeah that's pretty cool all right helps you. Uh, I guess the only issue I have with this is that instead of having these drop downs and choosing what you want, they should just have a whole big list of stuff instead of, you know, one, even if it was like side by side, two lists, like down and down like that, uh, that'd be better than this. Uh, currently it's not, not very intuitive. Uh, let's buy that one as well. And we'll go back. All right. And we finally have our inventory here. So I have a, a chicken of some description, a chicken totem, whatever that means. And uh, yeah, you basically that is your inventory, your uh, yeah, equip area. All right. So as you can see, because I bought stuff, I have better defense and better health now. And I can go and punch people and win games because i'm just a nifty boxer so that is around about it for beast boxing turbo always gonna say beat boxing turbo it's not beast boxing turbo uh you can pick it up on desira for five bucks uh would i recommend it well i'm not one for boxing games really so i can't really give my you know final yes or no on it but it seems pretty fun it's very hard if you like hard games then this is the one for you that's for sure as you can see on my first uh, fight and that is an easy fight but my first fight I died really quickly because he headbutted me twice and it just gets harder from there so uh, the the highest I've seen anyone go or heard of anyone go is up to the fourth person that you fight and they can't go beyond that and apparently they're a pretty good gamer so very difficult game all right well that is it for today thanks everyone for watching this has been your host the pixel pirate and we'll see you next time